Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Peter Super, and I am a structural engineer from company Rodentia that specializes in timber structure engineering. Uh, it's a pleasure to present our project here today, and I will tell you about an interesting and challenging project that we designed, uh, Open Air Concert Hall Mito. Uh, the building is located in Yelagova, Latvia, on an island between two rivers, as can be seen in the picture. Uh, the island has recently been developed as a recreational zone for residents of the city. Uh, there's a beach, multiple playgrounds, and also multiple events happen on the island yearly, like ice sculpture and sand sculpture festivals. Uh, we also had a project of timber roof over open air ice skating rink that's also located on the island. And this building is used as a roller skating rink during summers. And this ice skating rink roof was completed just before the construction of the concert hall started. And yeah, we also designed this project. Uh, the roof of the concert hall was built over the existing amphitheater, and this allows to extend the duration of the season for concerts, and also protects the attendees from rain, hot summer sun, and also reduces the wind. And the acoustics of the amphitheater has also been greatly improved. Uh, the construction was completed in 2019, but unfortunately, due to current events, only a few con concerts have been held, th held there since the opening. And uh, the architecture of the building and also of the whole concept of the island, uh, including the amphitheater, is made by uh, Wayne's Great Dance. And the roof structure was inspired by a shell washed upon the shore of the river. As you can see, the initial concept has some details that are different from, from the built structure, but altogether we try to keep the architect architecture as close to the initial concept as feasible. And in this project, uh, architect was also invol involved in the design of structural connections since uh, all the connections are visible. So we designed most of the joints together and he had approved and adjusted if necessary the connections, details, small details according to his preferences. The total capacity of the concert hall is up to 1,200 seats from which 700 seats are stationary and there are optional 500 additional seats. The building dimensions are 60 by 60 meters with a height of 50 meters. And the longest free span of the curved beams is 57 meters. And as far as I know, it's currently the longest timber span in Latvia. For the construction of the project, the total amount of 510 uh, cubic meters of timber was used, uh, 77 tons of steel, of steel and approximately 11,600 connectors. Uh, but this data is only for the load bearing structure, so the total amount is larger. <clears throat> the structural system is made of curved main beams. Uh, these ones so that have steel ties and uh, are simply supported on the curved ring beams, which are also made from block wood boom. Uh, the main beams have a constant radius, but the ring beams have an elliptic curve. And the ring beams are supported uh, on steel columns and also are connected at ground level on both sides. And the building has one axis of symmetry since the ring beams on one side is higher as it goes over the Gabion wall that separates the stage from the backstage building. The structure is covered by a tensile membrane, which is supported directly in with the glulam beams by brackets and aluminum profiles. The membrane was designed and produced by Canobio Textile Engineering, which is one of the leading companies for tensile structures in Italy. Uh, the good collaboration and our detailed 3D model that included all the uh, connectors, screws, washers, and everything allowed to develop the best solution for the membrane in short period of time. Uh, the structural design was carried out by Lubal RFM software, 
according to Eurocode, but some solutions needed uh, additional calculations from different research and other sources since it's not covered by Euro Eurocode 5 and there's limited information. And the calculations included the six min load cases and 11 snow load cases that included half and quarter of snow loads for variable definition of the spherical surface. Uh, since steel parts in connections had many type of interesting shapes, uh, most of the steel parts were modeled individually to verify the stresses and to determine more precisely uh, how the forces would be transferred through the connections. And we also, during the development of the steel parts, we also work closely with steel manufacturer to find the best solution for production. So since there were many unique and also quite complicated steel parts, and most of the connections use bolts and steel doubles. And the bending moment resisting connections are made of steel plates uh, with fully threaded screws and special washers that allows a 45 degree angle between the screw and the steel plate. Uh, the fully threaded screws are positioned on both top and bottom of the connection uh, since there can be bending moment in both directions. And also the screws are uh, in both directions, additionally to fully threaded bars that reduce the risk of splitting from tension perpendicular to the grain. Uh, for for sh transfer shear forces, uh, steel shear keys, are key, shear keys are used, and also plywood is used between the members to more even, evenly distribute the compression forces. Uh, as expected, there were some challenges along the way, but it's not unusual for, for such a unique building. The first concept of the architecture uh, can be seen in the picture and included cables that go from pylons and, and these cables supported the ring beam. Uh, here and uh, under the ring beam, there were additionally glue columns for the wind mesh here. However, the combination of low self weight of the roof, the open can canopy type building and the exposed location between two rivers creates uplift of the entire roof. As a result, the cables are not the best solution for the system uh, since it would need additional elements to st stabilize the system. So instead load bearing steel columns are used as load bearing timber columns are not allowed according to local fire regulations. Um, the cables from the pylons are still kept as an architectural element as per preference as the architect since they were presented in the original concept. But uh, the cables you can see here, they are no longer load bearing uh, cables, but only have an architectural purpose. The tensile membrane didn't cause any major challenges. Only one aspect that we didn't take into account during the structural analysis was the possible log deformation of the membrane due to snow load. So after the tensile membrane was uh, calculated, the top purlins had and wind braces had to be moved down and redesigned as a deformation from the snow load can reach up to 40 centimeters. Uh, the next challenge was met during the construction phase for bending moment resisting connections, fully threaded timber screws with steel plates were used. And uh, these fully threaded timber screws uh, were chosen since these connections have, have high stiffness and also high load bearing capacity. To achieve this high strength of the screws, high resistance steel is used during the production but unfortunately that means also lower ductility as well. So the screws are easy to over tighten when screwed against the steel plate and the screw can break. Uh, fortunately, we had somewhat conservative approach uh, for the design of these connections and the extra screws in the connections. So the load bearing capacity was not exceeded. And the solution uh, for this issue was to use special electric screwdriver that is usually used in machine industry. And this screwdriver can be programmed and it can control the torque by a computer. Uh, also, it had to be made, 
had to be made waterproof for outdoor use since it's a tool that's intended for factory use and is also quite an expensive tool. During the design process, the target was to keep the steel columns as slim as possible. But uh, for the short columns, uh, the bending forces were too large and the column connections became quite clumsy and unproportional. So a similar situation was with the offset supports of the pylons. And to reduce the connection dimensions, it was necessary to allow rotation of the joint, but it was more complicated with the existing, the existing uplift forces. So we solved this connection by using custom-made spherical bearing, uh, which is more common as support for traffic bridges. And this bearing allows a certain rotation, but still transfers all the horizontal and vertical forces. Uh, to improve the durability of, of uh, the building, local cladding of the joints was used, and as well as a uh, protective coating system of three layers for exposed timber elements. Uh, a better solution would have been to use full cladding of the exposed timber elements, but unfortunately it was not allowed and the yearly maintenance of these uh, exposed timber elements will be necessary. Uh, to collect the rainwater from the surface of uh, surface of 2,800 square meters from the roof, a structural steel gutter is installed along the perimeter of the whole roof and the membrane is connected uh, to guide all the water from the roof straight into this gutter. And uh, the endings are made from closed steel profiles to guide the water further to the sewage system. And the gutter and its connections were made from five millimeter thick steel that was bent into the necessary profile according to our design. Uh, a wind mesh was installed between the steel columns and pylons to reduce the wind gust inside the concert, concert hall. And between certain columns, the mesh can be opened, but there's also some places where the mesh is stationary. But it is the purpose is to reduce the wind gusts inside and to protect the attendees. Uh, to improve the acoustics of the concert hall, three different systems are used according to the acoustic design project. Uh, firstly, uh, panels made from perforated plywood filled with mineral wool insulation were hanged between the main beams uh, to absorb the sound. Secondly, uh, triangular acoustic shields made of glulam and plywood were positioned uh, on three sides of the building. And the purpose of these acoustic shields is to reflect uh, the sound and evenly dis distribute it inside the concert hall. Uh, and finally, rounded glulam elements were added to the bottom side of the main beams and also to the interior of the uh, ring beams. And all these acoustic elements were made by the construction company, Iketubulva, together with the global production company, IKTK, with our input in connections and details. So, because all these panels uh, were need, needed to be hanged, so they can, they are not, not uh, connected with the regular connections. Uh, all these additional systems improve the acoustics of building uh, that's comparable to chamber music halls. And the music, the acoustics were measured after the construction. And the acoustics engineer was very pleased with the results. And also there has been positive feedback about, about the acoustics and sound in the concert hall from attendees uh, of the concerts and performances that has already happened in this uh, concert hall. So hopefully we will we'll, we'll be soon able to enjoy more exquisite concerts and performances in the concert hall meter and also to see many new and interesting timber buildings in Latvia. And uh, we are happy to see that there are more and more timber buildings currently being built. 
that are not just for residential use, but also public buildings. So we will hope to keep this trend going. And so thank you for this presentation.